and the National Anthem complete. Moments away from game number two to begin this UWLX season number two between Long Island and Baltimore. And Johansson, as you just talked about, out of USC. In front and a good bounce in score. Put in by Samantha Brookhart, Craig. Gets a step right. Drops it off in front of the crease, and it's 1-1. Put in by Sammy Joe Tracy. Just finishing up in North Carolina. So Nicole Graziano trying to go low with it and down to make the save there. A shot, and that's put in the back of the net. 2011 graduate of Maryland. Did start a career at Louisville. Turned over by Baltimore, and an open net score with the goalie. <laughs> Obviously well out of position. We're tied at two. Unless that was a two-point goal. I was just wondering if that F was a two-point goal. Keep forgetting about that rule. <laughs> but the uh, the ride having trouble with the Long Island ride. And now four to two, the sound lead. It's her career coming to a close out of Northwestern this year and just still in college shape. And there's a fifth Long Island goal. As again, they take advantage of the turnover. So out of the timeout, Long Island wins the draw. Kaylee Craig on the run towards net. Will shoot it and score it to make it 6-2. Down to 10. Baltimore has to get a shot off. A bouncer that's in the back of the net from Caroline Margolis. Wins so the cross. Easy. Yep. <laughs> that's cutting in Yavoli, but picked up by Studoff. <laughs> that's and correct. Imagine being the goalie. Pearsall with the shot and score. Casey Pearsall just finished up in Notre Dame. At the side of the net, and that's in the back of the net for another Long Island goal, two in a row here in the second half. Find the goal line, and now Long Island with the goalie Studhoff coming out to challenge, and it leads to another tally, Sammy Joe Tracy, time All-American at Loyola. And that's a nice save by Studhoff for Long Island, very crisp. Diagonal feed leads to a score by Fort Chinato. Tucking it up underneath the crossbar. Not a again. Instead, though, it's a shot from Sammy Joe Tracy, who has scored twice today. Has given up 10 goals, but she's made a few tremendous saves, including that one. That was a chance for Van Dyke. You know, and, and those shots are not of the soft quality. I mean, these girls are firing bullets at her, and she's just save after save after save. That pass gets through, and Sammy Joe Tracy with the hat trick. Bratsky gets to the net, goes low, and scores. The head coach at Oregon. Baltimore finally able to get on the board here in the second half for the first time to make it 12-5. to And a backhand score as Studhoff was a little bit out of position as that ball made its way behind the cage. Very easily win. Uh, championship. No question, especially if you, you know. Has a nice goal in front. Brookhart, her second. You know, especially while you're waiting for your team to fill it. That really uh, keep things in line as that's put home to make it 14 to 6. Extended, extended garbage time here, it kind of yeah. feels like. And that's Fratsky, <laughs> her second. Do it for our opening day double header as Long Island beats Baltimore here in the second game, 14 to 6 after Boston beat Philadelphia in overtime. 13 to 12. Overall thoughts on this first day of action here in this 2017 season. Could not be happier. You know, the first day comes uh, again. You pick, you know, Memorial Day weekend to get it started. You never know. You know, it's a, it's it's all new people this year with us. You know, new coaching staff need to make sure everybody's in place. Uh, seeing the girls excited, the fan, you know, the stands were packed. Youth kids lining up for autographs, playing games at halftime. I couldn't ask for a better environment. Um, couldn't be more honored and proud to be part of the UW Lux. And so League. next Saturday, it's New Canaan Correct. High School Both in New Canaan, Connecticut for the two games.